Cereal go inside there. <laughs> Y'all see that? Cereal go inside there. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this milk open. Oh, oh. Hey, throw it on the back. We ain't gonna make no mess here. We gonna we gonna keep they spot clean. Move the water. So they can see. Look, 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 look. Y'all paying attention? Can y'all safely say that we did not put no cup in here, no Ain't nothing, no right? Cup. Ain't no cup. All right, look, 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 look. I like corn pops too, because guess what? I got to have my pops. And there go the milk, y'all. Come on. Oh, yo, weird. What's happening, fellas, people, ladies? All those listeners out there, YouTubians, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the He Hoarders podcast. This is episode 15. 15. It's your boy, He Hoard and Dre, aka still ain't got no aka. <laughs> <laughs> he Hoard Mal, aka Mal, aka Mal, <laughs> aka call me Mal. Mm. And it's your boy Grincho, aka Barry Got Soul. And we are live. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Okay. What? No AKA? AKA Barry Got So. Okay. 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 All right. AKA Big Cigars and Champagne Bottles. <laughs> every AKA. Time, every time we try to outsmart somebody, huh? You know what I mean? That shit ain't cool, man. Yeah, man. I try it's to keep spe- it simple. And y'all try to override my s- simplicity. <laughs> 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 we be trying to back him with, with the hypeness. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We're going to get you up to speed, though. Uh, like I said, it's episode 15. It's a special day. Yes, sir. We've been getting hella requests. Yes, sir. To get somebody on the show. So we brought them to you. Go ahead, introduce yourself to the people. Yo, what up, y'all? It's the kid, Paper Boy. And, um, and he brought a friend. Oh, yeah, that's my guy. What's up, man? It's DNA Desk. It's Ben. <laughs> it's good. Yes, sir. You know I mean? Let them know where to find you. Let them know. Just let them know who Paper Boy is. Hey, those who don't know who the kid is by now. <laughs> Y'all gonna learn today. Right. <laughs> Y'all gonna learn tonight. Straight up. <laughs> Look, I'm Kanye's nephew, and y'all gotta deal with that shit for the rest of y'all lives. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck what y'all say, what y'all heard, and what, ch- what what type of research y'all doing. It's me. It's the kid from San Francisco that's putting on. I'm putting on for the sneaker game. I'm putting on for my city. I'm just putting on for the United States. Y'all see me traveling the world, just branding myself. Bringing the light back to SF. There it is. I, um, I'm the janitor at Dream Team SF, which is my <laughs> shop. And um, you gotta start somewhere. For right, sure. Right. It's my shit. A real sneakerhead. I'm living out everybody, every every real genuine sneakerhead. I'm living out their dream to own a sneaker shop. I don't give a fuck how old you is. Every real sneakerhead dreams of owning their own sneaker shop. Word. And the cold part is, I don't even got no sneaker shop. I just push a brand. I'm just so happy to have sneakers, you know what I'm saying? So so this is what the people made me turn my shit into a straight sneaker shop. You ask Sari, nearest sneaker shop. <laughs> Drink Team SF will pop up. Straight up. Hey, Swear to me, God. Give them the address too. Shout out to Sari. Hey, um, address is one on one A as in Appleton, Broad Street, SF California, 9411 Deuce, right in the heart of Lakeview, my community. I gave my city something to enjoy, so y'all enjoy this shit with me, bro. Come on. Let them know what the uh, what the store offer besides shoes. Man, before the shoes, when you come to the best shop in the universe, the best boutique shop, we just we as soon as that glass door open, you just you just you just feel that love, that real home feeling. Like I'm I'm so deep in my community, I'm really like. Uh, uh, the mayor, now I don't know, stroke my dick type shit, but this is what the people was like, like comparing me to, like, I'm so tapped in a uh, 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 street politically, I just, I, I'm, I'm doing real big dog mayor shit at a, at a young age, like I'm, 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 I'm feeding my community like, like Nino Brown did in New Jack City when Pookie came and asked for a job, I'm giving these kids jobs. I'm showing the I'm 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 really the cheat sheet for the new generation that's under me. I'm showing them all the keys right now how to get it in. For sure. And definitely when you Top speak about secret. the community, uh I remember one big thing you did. Oh, is before. we gonna talk about the what? big pot? Oh, that's what <laughs> oh, I'm going no, straight to. Come that on, man. That, that's 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 one of my favorite moves from you, bro. Yeah. Like big pots like, of gumbo. I, I see everything you do. <laughs> 
But that's one of my favorite moves from you. Before y'all see the sneaker shit, before this yeah. social media, before this cyber optical lens and this camera that see me daily, I've been doing this shit out of my heart. Like, like I was a five percenter by 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 not even by choice, just by because. Y'all know who a five percenter is. Y'all do your homework. You know what I'm saying? Like way before I even heard the term five percenter, I always gave back. I always felt like helping. Like even in school, like I, I always helped my partners with work. With, 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 with just trying to get their bread up with everything, like a real genuine friend. Like I really care for my people. Hey, I'm new, I'm new to that term, so explain what a five percenter is. Five percenter is the people that just help help like the lower class people with just what little they got. Okay. Like 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 if they need help, we'll just come in and try to help as much as we can. That's what five percenter is. Like Jay-Z a five percenter. That's like a big New York thing. Right. You know what I'm saying it's like a, a real secret society between black folks. That's why it's only like five percent. Like you see the whole rap industry, it's only like the five percent of that rap industry gonna come down and really help the people. Right. And give back, so. Really try to uplift people. But right. you ain't gonna hear too much about that. You're gonna hear about black youngsters shot up Dolph Dolph motherfucking all this. You're gonna hear about Tyra Banks doing this. You're going to hear about Rick Ross snorting this. You're going to hear about Meek Mills and Nicki Minaj pussy smelling like that. You ain't going to hear about the good shit. You know what I'm saying? They keep that in the shadows. So of you course. Brought, you brought the homie Ben. Ben, let everybody ben. know who you are. Ben, tell him who you is, Brody. So, yeah. What's up, guys? So, I'm an um, international student from Thailand. Right. And I've been knowing um, Donald for like three years, I think. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, he bring like me along. I 15 years, though. Yeah, being with him almost every day, I don't even know like what to do to be honest. What to say? Like, you just um, let him know what you're doing in life. Um, yeah, let him know. Yeah. Um, what you got going I, on. I dedicated ninety percent of my income to uh, sneakers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem with that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm doing um graphic designer for um actually I I design most of the merchandise for Dream Team right, right. now. Okay. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we actually have a big project coming too. Okay. Okay. So how did, how did y'all link up? Secret? Yeah. How how did y'all yeah, two I link up? I think it's just like when they when they first it was get destined. That's when they first happened. got <laughs> here. It was yeah. destiny. Yes. Yeah, I'm being so honest. Yep. Nah, a lot of shit is destiny. Right. It's love. Yeah. So, I think like three years ago, I got here first time in SF, and I was like, "Yo, um, there is a store near my house. It looked like a, a game shop." Right? With the Mario stars and shit. I was like, oh, (laughs) maybe I should stop by, right? And then one day I was like just walking in front of the store and I saw the shoes inside. I was like, yo, um, let me check it. So I went inside. Donald has a a lot of shoes and he has some dope clothes. I was like, oh my God, this is like the same block as my house. Right. So, and ever since then, I was like coming back and forth, going to his store and he always get the new shoes. So I was like, yeah. I'll just check it out because, like, I've been buying, like, sneakers almost every week back then, like, right, to just yeah. take a picture and right. he's been on the fucking internet. with the boo-boo shit, the real-life yeah. GR <laughs> like, shit. Like, GR he King. He had no heat, like, heat hoarders, you dig what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the GR King or some shit like that, maybe. Right, right. <laughs> they just have a full, a full fucking rack of GR back then, right? Mm-hmm. And I was, like, taking a photos of, like, his shoes coming in the shop and shit, and then... Yeah, it just started be be friend with him and he f- he saw my work on Instagram. Right. Okay. So we just started like, hey, l- let's do something. I saw right. a drawing of him. That's when the Command Forces dropped. Yep. Right. The Air Command Force, the Billy Holly. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. The white man can't jump that. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Them. That shit nah, was I know. So I I met dope. Ben at a bear he got sold meat. Right. Yeah. And ever since then, like I've been I've been kicking him with and talking to Ben. Ben is a good dude for sure. Uh, yeah. So you was into you was into sneakers before you caught over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He he from Bangkok and like um, the city is um very small and the community is very big and and, yeah. and and it's very political out there and it's it's like it ain't no in between. It's either you got sneakers or you don't got sneakers. Like rich yeah. and poor. Yeah. So it's like Ben Ben kind of infiltrated and slid up in because it's like. If you got sneakers, you on like the top tier out there in Thailand. Right. So he lightweight beefing with some old jerk out there in Bangkok. <laughs> hey, nah, I'm telling yeah, you, like it's real. real it's yeah. real. Like I gotta be the only nigga with these type shit out there in Thailand. Damn. Tell him who that jerk is, man. Bruh, you know think about bruh? it. That dude. <laughs> that dude is like a fucking brand influencer or whatever he say yeah, on Instagram. Like influencer, yeah. right? Brand like. 
consultant and shit, and he were like fucks, like so tapped in yeah. with Nike Thailand. They give him free shit and shit. You know what I mean? Like, right. what do he have? What does he have to do with me? Right. Yeah. He was like, oh, you're you're in um, you're in the U.S. now, so you're cool. He was like, yeah. kind of like low key beefing like a girl on like, um, low key like yeah. yeah. I was like, so I was like, DM him like, yo, what's up with you? Do you are you talking about me? Right, and right. he was like, I said it, I typed it in in Thai, Thai Thai language, right? right? Right, and he was like, reply me with English with a broken grammar. I was like, so I was like, DM him like, yo, what's up with you? Do you are you talking about me? Right, and right. he was like, I said it, I typed it in in Thai, Thai Thai language, right? Right, and he was like, reply me with English with a broken grammar. Uh, you know what I mean? I was like, right, right. bro, what's up with you? You know what I mean? Like. So since then, I was like, man, fuck this. I, I got to do something. I got to get somewhere. Right. right? So it's, it just started like, yo, went, went to see Dono. And I was like, yo, I think I got to move, move all my GR shit now. Right. Right? <laughs> and, and he was like, yeah, you got to keep your power line, bro. You right, got you right. to start. It. Get, yeah. right. getting, getting a good stuff, like cut all the bullshit, right? right and right, then right. from there, just like he just like showed me how to like obtain a good shoes and then just like, Constantly getting more shoes into my collection, and yeah, there now here see, I am. See, Love. the reason why I go so hard, and I know we're trying to drift off topic, but I kind of like talk too goddamn much. But my shit be everywhere. But the reason why it's like it's like number straight fire with me is because one of my biggest influencers, Keith Huff Nagel, okay, he told me like this: as soon as I open my shop in 2012, March 24th, I hotline bling them. <laughs> and he had told me two things that I never forget in life. See, me, me and Keep got a real good relationship. Shout out, Shout out to Huff. I love you, boy. Um, I was supposed to see him down in LA, but he was in Malibu with the family. But um, uh, it's gonna be uh more. But um, he told me two things. He said, make sure everywhere you go, motherfuckers know you. Exactly. Know who you is, Don. I don't give a fuck if you in Hong Kong. Make sure. Niggas know you. Yeah, and that was one thing. And the other thing was, watch your inventory. <laughs> so I got them two things written in my books that I'm like, that, that I created, these little black notebooks. It's a series of how everything started up until me coming to this podcast. It got hmm. every piece of information. It's like all the info, how Dream Team started up until I walked into this door at this podcast. So the information is for the people. I'm, I'm writing this because it's for y'all. I'm here to help. But the it didn't dawn on me until probably like two years ago. I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? Right. Watch my inventory yeah. and make sure niggas know me so, everywhere. So that led me to stick out everywhere I go and just be a bright light and make sure everywhere I went, motherfuckers knew me. And so I'm 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 so I'm such a sneakerhead and I'm just using I'm, I'm using the sneaker community to help build my brand and get brand recognition. So yeah. that's when I come to the campouts with some Air Mags on late night. Lit up Air Max, like, who is that coming through on the hoverboard? Oh, that's paper right there. Boom. That already going to implicate me going to be stuck in their mind like, this nigga came through late night on the hoverboard yeah, with the Air right, Max right. lit that's, up. That's right. mandatory, though, for any brand. Yeah. Like, they, but Man, people no. don't understand No, 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 no. If you want to build your brand, you need to be everywhere. You need to be seen everywhere. Yeah. And you need to make people remember you. 75% of every brand, McDonald's, Chase, B of A, uh, KFC, K-Swiss, 75% of brands are based on promotion, yeah, right. promo. Marketing. Come on, y'all. Marketing, the million-dollar oh, ads on Super Bowl. Yeah. Niggas spend that million, and guess what? They get about $50 million the next day off product sales. Straight up. Come on. Straight up. For real. That's real talk. But, um... Like I said, I just be going off topic. I be everywhere, no, but um, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. We was on um the power lineup, and that's why I only fuck with straight heat. I'm only rocking heat. Like I'm 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 bringing hot shit out, which leads me to this. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> okay. I brought y'all a gift. Only nigga. Uh -oh. Only nigga out here. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Who we at? Northern California. Yes, sir. Northern California, right? Only nigga with these. Samples. Okay. Shout out uh -oh. to Don C. Lay for that. Sample uh -oh. joints. This I, I brought this to share with y'all. Jewels. Ooh. Jewels. Okay. Sample joints. Pass this to Big Dog right there. Jewels. <laughs> Here you go. Y'all can check them out. Jewels. Hey, look. Hey. Sample joints. Hey. Exclusively. Samples. Here. Nothing foo foo about that. Friends and family only. They asked me, how? 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 
Friends and family only. Come on. I only hey. fuck with extra exclusive shit. Okay. And I wear my shit. And guess what? This my this my second pair. This my show and tell pair. Hmm. He but came see, ready today. Oh, for sure. He came ready hey, today. Look, he just I, came dropping. He's been heat. prepared. He's been hey, prepared. Like I, like I said, I'm gonna be the Charlemagne, the, the God. It's Gucci. I'm gonna I'm I'm act like one of your haters. Mm -hmm. Where did you get those from? That's C. Now I got my folks out there in uh, Los Angeles. I'm tapped in with. Okay. Shout out to Turiano. That's my guy right there. He um just be blessing the kid. Nothing free. Nigga got to pay my way, which yeah. is um you know it's, it's a part of the game. Right. I'm definitely not getting whooped in the head. I tell you that. Straight up. Oh no no. Because I know I know you from the bay, so you know we from right. Yeah. yeah. But you know we gonna finesse something. Finesse the jug. Yeah. You're talking to somebody. We not yeah. those for type all you out of staters. If you don't know what the jug <laughs> is, come on, come to California. Jugging and finessing. You know what I mean? The jug, finesse all that shit. So all out of your collection thing. right now. What's your go-to? My go-to, just off the back, Blink blinks. Yeezys. I got about five <laughs> pairs. Blinks. Blinks, right. blinks, blinks. Why they call them blinks? Because they black and pink. You uh, fuse together and you get blink, just like you get the breads right. all of a sudden. <laughs> Knowledge. Come on. Hey, um, real quick, though. I want all y'all to put your eyes on this move real quick. A lot of people, a lot of people keep questioning you know, because a nigga went viral with this sneaker and cereal shit. Oh, hey, Ben, hold this just like this. Oh, right on, Brody. Shit. So, 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 oh, they didn't believe when Jesus walked on water. They wanted proof. <laughs> but guess what? Now I'm about to give niggas proof raw and uncut. I got that triple white Yeezy, the latest boost right here. Y'all can all witness and say there's no cup in here. Is that correct? No yep. cup, no, no nothing cup. in here, right? No I got me a brand new cup. A straight cereal right here. Oh, hey. You see corn pops. Down. Corn pops Make right sure here. You Don't in. do it. I got. Come on, YouTube. bro. YouTube. <laughs> look. iTunes. Look, look. Cereal. Wait, let me see the inside of that shoe real Inso quick. Inso right there. It ain't nothing but a. Ain't it no ain't, ain't nothing but a, uh, a, a napkin in here because I ain't trying to make no big mess. So yeah, ain't no. But cup. ain't no cup in here. No, no cup in here. It, it's impossible. No Photoshop live. None of that. Cereal. Cereal go inside there. <laughs> Y'all see that? Cereal go inside there. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this milk open. Oh, oh. Hey, throw it on the back. We ain't gonna make no mess here. We gonna, we gonna keep they spot clean. Move the water. So they can see. <laughs> Being grabbed it. Look, 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 look. Y'all paying attention? Can y'all safely say that we did not put no cup in here, no ain't nothing, no right? Cup. No ain't cup. no cup. All right, look, 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 look. I like corn pops too, because guess what? I gotta have my pops. And there go the milk, y'all. And the Yeezys. Come on, there we go. Well, is he gonna eat out of it? Hit wow. niggas like this. Boom. <laughs> Come on, I'm that serial killer, bro. Yep. Off the easy. Off the easy. <laughs> Off the easy. Stop playing with me. Live. Oh, <laughs> hey, man. All right, baby. So, the big question Come is on, why? Man. Why? Yeah, why? Look, how long y'all been in the sneaker game? Hey, but I'm a, I'm a nigga that be like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking the question that people going. That, yeah, that, yeah. We, we ask. We gonna ask them the question. I know, but I, we want to know both. Shit. I'm not trying to flip this question on y'all. At all. Let me ask you this: How long y'all been in in the sneaker game? Shit. For a minute, right? Yeah. 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 A minute, right. For sure. The sneaker game is so dry right now. Yeah. It used to be fun. I remember Nike Town used to throw parties for us. Yeah. I I remember it, it, it used to be real real club events. Where where kids where minors could come and come just just hang out and uh fuck with sneakers and it's just like I'm the I'm the curry I'm the forthcoming I bring excitement to the game niggas want to see me every release hmm. what's Don gonna do what cereal he gonna use I bring that excitement to the game like 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 I can't believe how much hate a nigga get on online but it's cool though because. It, it's, it's, it's part of the game. It's like the yin and the yang. You can't have happy without sadness. You feel me? Without right, sorrow. Sure. So I accept all that. You dig what I'm saying? But it, it's like this. For one, I'm brand I'm brand building. I done got over 20 million views off just the whole sneaker run. Mm. Off the sneaker serial run. It's, a nigga just po Two niggas just posted that shit last night. It's like granny butthole and some other one <laughs> tagged me. It's just like, it's, it's crazy. It's just it's getting hits after hits. And it's like... It's just brand recognition. Like, who is that kid? So collector tapped in. I got an article with them, and just like I told the world through the article, it's just it's just excitement to the game, bro. I, I bring I bring some 
some some fun to the game. What uh what came first? Did Soul Collector or Complex or what came first? Hype Beast came first. Shout okay. out to Hype Beast. They done reposted me uh many times. When I was in Hong Kong, they had hit me, but I was so busy out there, I was supposed to come to their office. But definitely next run, I really got some special shit for everybody. The guys at Complex, um, me and Benny designing a um a special sneaker I'm about to give to the world. Okay. Um, okay. We ain't gonna talk too much about it though. Top secret. But, um, Top secret. <laughs> Top secret. De- definitely those, those big guys from the higher above that reached down and scooped the nigga up. Y'all got special gift coming. Okay. okay. So but, me, me personally, I don't see nothing wrong with eating cereal out of a shoe. Why not? But, but, but to the other people. So what you saying? Let me just get it right. What you saying? It is. It's just. It's. It's for the brand. I'm a sneakerhead. Yeah. I'm a sneakerhead. Because what people don't understand, and I always try to preach to people, they just shoes. Just right. just a it's piece of material. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, a piece of bruh, material. This shit don't mean nothing to me. I, I damn nearly died when I was 18 years old. The statistics of a black man, you only going to make it to 18. Beat that. Now new statistic is 25. I'm 30 now. I'm living life. I already beat the game of life as a young black man. So all this material shit don't mean shit to me. I'm here for these kids. I'm here for my family. I'm here for my team. Bruh, it's like, y'all see me? I, I was in Payless. Kicks on fire hit me like, bruh, what is you doing? That thing got about 100,000 views just putting a pair of champion sneakers on. And then I wore them to, um, where I wear them to, Benny Hanna? Sneaker Con. Sneaker, Sneaker Con. Con. I don't remember. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But who the fuck could say anything to me? All right. Because it's, it's not, see, I'm never online shitting on niggas, bruh. I'm helping niggas get on their shit. So it's like, if I crack my closet open or crack my vault open, I pull a lot of shit out that niggas be like, bruh, and I know he had that. I'm not here to showboat. I'm just here to enjoy the game and just give to the game. Like, I got shit niggas ain't seen yet. Matter of fact, July 22nd, 23rd, I'm about to bring y'all one off of some... Uh, all, all I'm going to say is kangaroo fur. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> just got to wait. That's all I'm going to say Sorry. for Sneaker Con LA. I'm bringing some shit out that, 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 that only Kanye had. And how did I? They, they're one on one. All I'm gonna say is kangaroo fur. Oh man. Hey, but thinking about it though, like remember when Fat Joe brung out when he was licking the bottle? Licking the bottle. He mm-hmm. about to, 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 is a trend coming. Watch. I bet you there's gonna be more people eating cereal out their shoes. In the but I didn't see it at all. I didn't get. I, I get so many DMs. I, I I get so many emails. I get so much fan art. You know, I get so much tag history. It's like I. It's 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 just like it's so motivational. It just make me feel good. Because I see people just enjoying the game again, like yeah. like like I was saying, the game's so dry. It's like everybody's a drone, everybody's an iRobot. Yeah. Wake up Friday night, get their bread together, raffle. We'll be there on Saturday. Bay's doing nothing. Don't win. Don't 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 win the raffle. Gotta hit me. Come see me, and then do it all over again next month. Yeah. Over and over and over. Yeah. Who I'm telling y'all, ain't nobody fuck with me in the sneaker game as far as giving back to the people. With the, I, I, I didn't gave over 20 pair of free Yeezys away. Yep. Yeah. Adidas ain't did no shit like that. Yep. All right. Bro, I, I, I just gave the world 25 motherfucking free pair of royal blue and black ones when they first dropped. Yep. Matter of fact, before they dropped. Before. This shit don't mean nothing to me. Don't mean shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I almost died when I was 18. Nigga shot me in my face and tried to smoke me. Yeah, so every day, to, every day is a blessing. Every day is a blessing, bro. Uh, let us know what happened when you got shot. Like, bro. What, what was the... Like, could you talk about that? I I, I tell you, just like it, was, like, like 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 it was two minutes ago. I'm coming from Castro uh, 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 Halloween party. I'm 18 years old. Just got my L's. I got me a 1979 Mazda RX-7, cocaine mm. white. It's two o'clock in the morning. I go to Lakeview, pick up my car, smack to the house. I always back in my driveway. I never pull the nose in. I always back in to see anything just like that would happen. So as soon as I park, open my garage, a baby blue Lincoln Continental pull up, windows rolled down in the back. It's a nigga with an army fatigue ski mask on, whip out like a 38 special. Or it was it was a 38 special. I'm not taking a nigga serious. I'm fresh out of high school. I know I ain't beefing with nobody. Right. I, look, I'm still a virgin, so I know I ain't fucking nobody, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know niggas ain't mad at me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just outside on my D-boy shit selling straight dope. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like this. Fresh out of high school, in college, on my grizzy. Niggas roll the window down, whip out. I don't take niggas serious. Niggas start flocking. Pop, pop. It sound like a cap gun, just like this. 
Pat Pat. Y'all remember Harlem Glow Trotters? Yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how the nigga had that 32. Until I hopped in my car and that third shot shot me in my face. A nigga blinked out. I had my I had like 16 gold ones in my shit with 162 diamonds all in my grill. And when he shot me, that motherfucker flew out. And and I had blacked out. And I heard some more shots go off. I'm like, damn. A nigga woke up. My whole mouth was, my whole face was numb. My ears was ringing. And it felt like a nigga just had a handful of, handful of um, sand in my mouth. And I thought the diamonds just had busted and exploded. <laughs> but that was my teeth had shattered. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I started my car, revved the RPMs. I popped the clutch and got up out of there and drove myself to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember that belly scene when nigga had got shot with the D Eagle? Oh, yeah. When um when he was driving himself yeah. and he had got shot, yeah. that that that's how nigga was really moving, like halfway awake, halfway, you know what I'm saying, dead, yeah. like sl- smacking down Mission Street, full full throttle, all the way to general. Damn. And like I said, but it's a blessing for a nigga for to sure, be man. here. For sure. Every day. Yeah, so that's sure. why I don't ever trip off this material shit, bruh. All this shit don't mean nothing. And that's exactly what it is, material shit. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. It's it's so cold because with this Yeezys, it's like out with the old in with the new. This new drop, it get pushed to the back of the line. Like niggas don't niggas forget about it. It should be in the time capsule. And it's like, y'all gotta wake up. I tell Ben this all the time. Unplug yourself from the <laughs> matrix, bro. Like a nigga stuck in a matrix, bro. Like, don't don't be a slave to this shit, bro. Don't be a victim, bro. And let the people know, because I know. Niggas how do you broke. even how do you feel about Yeezys? Adidas Yeezys, I don't. It's, it's bro. It's, it's just <laughs> like, like the me. new wave. Yeah, like, right. like, like it ain't no bad feelings because a nigga like rocking Adidas. Like, it's 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 just like the new wave is more for like the comfortable, kind of like laid back, straight straight legs, comb over type crowd. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't the like, combo, the, combo. I come from the dope selling era when niggas had big bulky shit. Niggas was raised on Charles Barkley's CB4s, like right, right. like Air Maxes, you know what I'm saying? Big chunky shit, the Ewans. Yeah. I'm just into real beefy shit. And that's yeah. all, like, my heart always gonna be in the old school era. Y'all see me. See, like, like, like I'm a young nigga, bruh. It's like, I'm out here with finger waves. I give OGs flashbacks, bruh. Like, my car is 83 and 85. I got an old-ass golden nugget, bruh. Like, I'm so old school, but I'm a young nigga. Like, I ain't lived in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was too young, but it's just like, that's the best era. But it's with, it's with, just part of the new wave, man. It's just... With that being said, what, what's your, what would you say is your favorite shoe from that era? See, because you said you like the bulky shit. Like, what would be your favorite shoe, if you had to say? The Jordan Retro 3s. Okay. Before they retro, Cements. Cement 3s were the first retros to ever re-retro in 94. 88. Black History Month. Banging from the free throw. Word. <laughs> Made history. Iconic. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Come on, man. Talk to him. <laughs> Come on, man. You children. Where your notebook at? Sure. Take notes, man. Do your Googles. Do your Googles. <laughs> no, Google ain't your best friend. I, I'm your best friend. <laughs> Google's your cheat sheet. I, I'm your best friend. Okay, but um, I seen I seen recently you was in China for uh like what was you out there for like a week okay. or two? Uh, I was out there in Asia for a month. Asia doing my thing. A lot of people, you know, you know, a picture se- se- says a thousand words, and now we got these videos. Wait, wait, stop, stop right here before you say that. This is what I always say. A picture say a thousand words, uh-huh. but a video say a thousand pictures. Uh-huh. So, so I, I know where you was going with it, but I just want to throw that in there. I love <laughs> Let it. Them know. Let them know what you are doing. You know what I'm saying? Asia. But a one-minute video, have a nigga make up a whole whole movie about what in that one-minute segment. But I'm. it's my third time in Asia. Those who don't know, Dream Team SF, we are a brand. We're the new kids on the block. You know what I'm saying? We're a brand. Like, we're a real brand. Like, Black Scale, Diamond, Huff, Pink Dolphin. I'm I'm in the brand bracket with them. Yeah. <laughs> and if you got a brand and you don't want to be in that bracket, then you're doing something wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Right. To- right. to- totally. Because every brand wants to always uh, 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 level up and evolve from just the screen printing to the cut and sew yeah. to real life customized shit that, 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 that only you design and you could have for the people. But I'm, I'm out there... Getting my um, what I call it? I'm out there for production. Yeah. I'm this this time around. I'm I'm out there getting my slippers done, my flip flops. Let me cut you off real quick. Come on. What happened to um? I I know you was doing the thing. This is one video I watched on YouTube. Uh, it was on uh Jambalaya TV. Jambalaya TV. That's it my was guy. A dope ass fucking video. It was you and um I guess him talking about like the cut and sew game. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was um. At my fo- to, you need to bring that back because people want to know like all the stuff it takes to make something happen. Yeah. See that that was just my embroidery spot. It ain't yeah, yeah. it ain't it ain't too much out here that does cut and sew. If it is, it's like a really really expensive job out here. So China is just like when you go to China, everybody thinks shit be costing pennies. Well, it does cost pennies when you do a wide run of this shit. Like you got to do so much a bigger bigger production, like <laughs> like 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 <laughs> thousand. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm out there. I ain't gonna say nobody's name, but I'm out there in the same factories where, where where mainstream people, mainstream brands is getting their shit made at. You know what I'm saying? So so so, and they making thousands of shit because they got accounts. They can make a thousand pair of jeans and dish it off to 15 stores they got and to another 20 accounts they got. So, <laughs> but you out there for your brand? Yeah, Dream yeah. Team SF and Paperboy. Yeah. So what about the toy? The toy coming Talk about soon. The toy. the toy is just something that um. Bro, it, it, it's, it's something that it's something that I it's always something wanted. It's different. It's just, it's just. Go ahead, Benny. I feel like Dream Team is kind of like we always for the kid, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. Like give we always give, give away toys and always give away like bike, bikes, give bikes. like scholarships and things like that yeah. to right, the right. to they, the high school. They don't kid, know about like, that. See, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm so low key. Last year, I, I, I see all all this type of shit is coming out of my own pocket, yeah. like. Ain't no, ain't no, go ahead. I was like, I don't mean to cut you off. I was like, we didn't even dive into the big pot. You feel me? We didn't right, dive into right. all, in all the community stuff. We didn't even dive into, I be seeing you at the flea market. You feel me? You be everywhere, so. Everywhere. Go, yeah. Go See, because like Huff said, I got to be in, be in everybody's face. Right, Make sure right. motherfuckers know me. And that shit crazy. We, we in Hilltop Mall, what them kids say. So we go to Zoomies. Yeah. He's just like, oh. Hello, paper boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we, I ain't been in Hilltop Mall in about 10 years. That motherfucker's so dead. Uh, out of 100 stores, only 15 is open. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And, and, and the stores is the mainstreams, the champs, yeah. the Foot Locker, the kids yeah. Foot Locker. Ain't no more mom and pop shops. None of that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I got I, every year for the past last year, I've been getting away Full scholarships called the Paperboy Scholarship. And it's just, it ain't too much money, but it's, it's a couple bucks to put in your pocket, put towards your laptop. It's better than nothing. And I just have a kid, I had a kid um, type out like a five page, um, like a little essay, why they deserve this Paperboy Scholarship. And after that, we review, we, we review it, check it out with the team, and we call them and bust a check and send it to them. And, and, and that's it And we're gonna do this shit Next year And hopefully You know it's gonna be More money for these kids That's what's up bro let's, uh, sh- I like that Let's take the moment right now To shout out the whole Dream Team team Yo Let everybody know Who's part of Dream Team Cause people will see it And they would think It's only you But I know it take a team <laughs> To run you know What you got going on Over there See It's um Just like the staff and shit See Dream team is everybody. It's a team full of dreamers. Whoever got a dream automatically qualify. We on some real life pushing dreams. As long as I've been alive for my 30 years, and I'm not one of them niggas like in school where my teacher said I wasn't going to be shit and look at me now. It was never, no teacher ever told me no crazy shit like that. But they never told me, not in not in elementary, not in kindergarten, not in high school. And I know we're going off topic, but but they never told me to, do I have a dream or chase my dream or push your dream? Right. And that's that's my new agenda right now. Cause it's like this. If you ain't got no dream, ain't no point of living. Just 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 jump now. Cause you're wasting your time. Message. But right. I, I swear to God, nah, ain't Joel. no point of living if you ain't got no dreams. What you even alive for? Yeah. To clock in and clock out? Yeah, that's cool. But 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 you gotta be doing it for something. Right. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the staff, it's me, Paperboy the janitor. Uh, it's my brother, Soche. Um, I've been knowing him for 25 years. He's Cambodian. He's my brother by not blood, but by loyalty. And you know what they say? Uh, uh, blood will make you family, but loyalty, uh, 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 no, blood make you related, but loyalty will make you family. Hmm, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's another one of my good friends, Warhan. I've been... I've been with him since they invented chips for the PlayStation <laughs> One. You know what I'm saying? This is the Pokemon era. They just they they just celebrated twenty years. Twenty five. 
25 years of Pokemon, so I've been knowing bruh since the first generation booster packs. When it was Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise on the on the front packs. We used to battle on the on the M train. I used to tear that ass up. Damn, Pokemon? Po- bruh. 96, Brody. God damn. Damn. 96. God that's when this damn. shit dropped. Tell him what we got to the shop. We we still got the old school Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. What I'm talking about first generation shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I need to I need to pull up to the shop because I heard both of y'all is nice on Street Fighter. I'm, I'm cool I'm taking bets. <laughs> I'm cool <laughs> Street Fighter. Hey, if it came down to it, I gotta put my bread on Benny. Benny, he's a great Street Fighter player. Me, I'm I'm, I'm more of a Super Smash Brothers uh, okay. a player. Okay, I, I'm That's I'm really hands on. I'm gonna have to come see Benny game. one time. Uh, uh, if I had nice to pick an old school game, Fighter. I gotta go with GoldenEye 007. Hey, this, we were just, this, we were this, just talking, about talking about that our last episode. Man, I bring that motherfucker here. <laughs> hey, I, I, hey, I, I got every system. What we was talking about, I was like, they need GoldenEye 2017 on the Switch. Oh yeah, online. Oh yeah, and Nintendo will be back. Oh yeah, nah. Yeah. But they is back because Nintendo. I think they made like a billion dollars off the Pokemon Go. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm saying. No Nintendo oh, yeah. um, own Pokemon Go. What? And and a matter of fact, the owner of Nintendo just died. Oh, oh, oh it wasn't Mario? The, the owner of Mario. Nah, the guy who created Mario. Yeah, he just passed away. Shout out to Nintendo. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah. Um, but we left off at okay. Then it's um, it's it's it's, it's Han. And then Benny, he is my motherfucking uh, 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 graphic uh, director. And then we got my young interns. I don't like to call them interns. I just call them my young goons. It's, uh, <laughs> David Tan. We got Golden, which is my artist. He's a, a, a wonderful scholar student. He goes to low high school. Yeah, shout out to uh, Golden. He's a 4.2 student. Got a bunch of AP classes. Same thing with David Tan. And um, a bunch of my neighborhood kids, Dolph. Uh, uh, just man, the the list look like an attendance sheet on the first day of school. <laughs> so it's like it, 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 it's it's it, it's a bunch of us. But as far as who got keys to the castle, it's only three of us. Okay. And I seen you. Is that your your new store, the sneaker li- liquidation store? That's only a pop up shop. So everybody, twenty six thirty one Taylor Street. This is the flea market. Seven days a week, all my shit come in there. Nothing. Over 50 bucks. I got backpacks. I got socks. I got drawers. I got all the cool sneakers. That's for a cool price. So this is an upgraded version of what I seen you doing at the the, the flea market. Pretty much, it's yeah, just yeah, the okay. it's just the you can't get to Laney College on, yeah. on, on on Sunday. Come right here to Taylor Street. I feel you. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. But um, and then it's like three thousand kicks coming in every month. So it's always some new shit, flushing in old, pushing in new shit. And Nothing the, over 50 bucks. Nothing over 50. Nothing over 50. No sneaker over 50. I got a wide range of A6. You want to get your running on for the summer? <laughs> 30 <laughs> bucks. Oh, yeah. Brand new A6. Jug. Jugging yeah. and finessing. Come on. Like I said, ain't nobody fucking with me in the sneaker game as far as giving back like me. I don't. Look, and I'm going to clear this shit up too. I'm not in competition with none of these stores around the Bay Area. Why, Benny? Because when you compete, you're playing to win. I'm not playing to win. I'm yeah. playing because I love this shit. Right. I'm playing for the love, bro. Love the game. Message. <laughs> we're not awesome. even in actually a consignment store at all. We are. Um, I'm blaming Siri. We brand. are not no sneaker shop, Siri. Quit telling the people that. <laughs> Quit telling the people that. <laughs> yeah, we are a clothing store, so there's like there's no competition between like consignment store and at all. Actually, we always like. As far as we can go, we always go show love yeah, 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 to every yeah, single sure. store. Like I whenever, see y'all everywhere. yeah, whenever All they have like events everything. and things, yeah. We Shout out to Prestige out there in Alameda. I love y'all. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Connect Consignment out there in Daly City. I fuck with y'all. Pure Oakland. Pure Oakland. We fuck with y'all. Yeah. Hey. Come on, man. The My, fix. The fix kicks. I ain't been there yet. But I fuck with y'all. I ain't never threw no shade at no store, nothing. I was the bulletproof vest taking yeah. shots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I take all the shots. I'm like Jesus Christ. I take the lashing. And I forgive you for you not knowing what you're doing. <laughs> I yeah, forgive y'all. Y'all know I fuck with everybody. So I, Everybody. I'll be, I, I be at all these shops, and I ain't going to say no names, but some of these shops be hating on other shops, and I'm like... Y'all not nowhere near each other. Why y'all worried about what word, another shop word, doing? For real. It's so cold. I send, every time a tourist comes see me at Dream Team SF, I ask him the famous line, how long you in town? A few hours, a few days? Here go my list of every store you got to hit up. You got to hit them. 
every store it. from Riff to, to 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 the Fix Kicks to Connect Consignment to Grills SF to the whole Hate Street. I'm like a spokesman for San Francisco. I'm the tour guide of San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how much I love the game. Book your appointment. You come, you get your if you come to the Bay place. Area, book your tours now. Yeah, right. stop at Dream Team and he going to give you that list. Bro, and, and if you got no ride or no Uber, bro, I got the support van. I'm picking you up and taking you around for free. <laughs> no gas tours. needed. <laughs> Dream Team that's tours how much I love the people in the game. And shout out to FCBB or FBCC. 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 Brody was here last week. Uh, a couple weeks ago. Yep. He was here. Uh, he was here. Great dude. Um, like I said, I don't got problems with nobody. Those who know paper know what paper's about. And um, like I said, people be quick to judge me um, on 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 the front cover of my 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 book before they read it. Yeah. They don't even give me a chance to even read the index. What do I got to offer? You know what I'm saying? So people only scratch the surface at the end of the day from what they see. Right. So I think that's one. Why we for sure was on like, cause we know like it's more to the story than you feel me right, than, right. than what sees it from the eye, and at the end of the day, like you said, like it's so much shit that you doing and you don't got beef with nobody. So yeah. go ahead and just explain how you it's feel. It's a about, reason for everything. Yeah, it's a reason. Right, for right, everything. right, right. Yeah. Um. But see, I'm a I'm a I'm a real person that come from a loving background. Like my grandma always taught me. See, I come from a single single parent household, broken family. You know, typical black storyline. You know what I'm saying? You know, um. I was always taught to love, and and my weapon of choice is love. I kill niggas with kindness hmm. all day. Like I like a nigga might be beefing with me. I figure out the nigga birthday. I send him a real life birthday cake, <laughs> <laughs> for real, and a birthday card. A nigga Dude, look at kindness. me like I'm crazy, but it's like that shit eat a nigga up. I get so much apologies in my DMs. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I tell niggas, it's, it's cool. I forgive you for you not knowing what you're doing. Right. That's what it is too. A lot, a lot of time, people just don't know what they're doing. Yeah, no. but it's all good. Um, we're gonna talk about this Kanye shit. Niggas hate that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, look, hey, look I'm, fucking with, I'm fucking with paper. He's <laughs> like, whatever you want. I'm whatever. Ready to act. Right. whatever. I ain't sugarcoat nothing. I give it yeah. to y'all raw and uncut, straight from Pablo Escobar himself. Go ahead, Greg. Okay, so I'm the dope know, dealer. Let yeah, people know why you are. Or should I let people know why you call yourself Kanye's nephew? Look, check it out. I didn't give the world so much shit. It's time for me to whoop their ass now. <laughs> y'all didn't accept the blessings I was blessing y'all with. Didn't accept the freebies. Didn't ex- <laughs> look, look, didn't accept none of that. Because, because, you know, rumor was they... It had to be fake or dream team selling fake. Everybody know once the fake jacket get put on you, it's so hard to get off. It's like a real life straight jacket. But I've been in business for five years. You guys got to look from my point of view. I'm young. I'm black. That shit matters right now. We are looked at as the evil bad guys, period. So anything we do is trifling and it's got to be a catch to it. So we are already at a disadvantage. We are under the underdog. So it's like this. I got to come so hard and I can't afford to fumble anything. So it's like I got to have a perfect shot. So I'm in business. I'm trying to keep a clean name. So, of course, I'm not going to jerk the people like that. I don't want your $500 now. I don't I, I don't want short-term jeopardy. Yeah. I want long-term. I want your 500000 I want to make you a, a, a returning customer. You, 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 you see, it's like, it's like it's common sense. Why am I going to sell you a fake pair of sneakers and really have a storefront where you come back and return it? It, it don't make no sense. And then it's a bad name on me. I didn't gave y'all turtle doves when they dropped at 400 mm-hmm. I didn't gave y'all. I was selling turtle doves when they first came out at $400 for turtle doves. Mm. Shattered backboards. I gave over 100 pair of them. I gave y'all pirate blacks. Over 100, over 100, over 150 pair of them. Yep. I gave y'all chocolate 750s, over 200 of them. Oxford tan 350s also. I gave y'all the moon rocks. I gave y'all the triple black 750s. I didn't do no 950s because I felt like the people wasn't going to really appreciate that sneaker or that boot. Then I hit niggas in the head with the belugas with 200 pair. And that's when the beluga V2s first came out and niggas was still sketchy. Tell them about the policy. Look, 
if look, look, this is my return policy at Dream Team SF. Hey, ben got all the fire. This power, right? is, right. this right. is right. why we are the best store right. in the universe. A pair of sneakers from me for a thousand dollars, and they're fake. That means I'll buy them back for double. That means you will get two thousand dollars back. Now, if that's not the best safety net to stand on top and buy my product, I don't know what is. Word. I have had not one return yet. Come on, y'all. Right. I do this for the people. I'm not gonna set you up for failure. Only success shots over here. Straight up. I can I can confirm that too because I'll be trying to be like nosy sometimes. It's all I good. Have, <laughs> I have never seen nobody say they got a fake right, easy right, from right. Dream Team. Bruh. Right, yeah. It's crazy. But we had drifted off on why I'm Kanye's nephew. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> can so, explain that. Explain so it. So I was breaking y'all down what I what Yeezys I gave to the world. Yeah. And I was having so much shit, so much Yeezys. I will never reveal my plug, which is my uncle Yeezy, once again. But <clears throat> it came along when somebody asked me, well, it's just like this. If a nigga is so raw in basketball, and nigga asked him, why are you so raw? Bruh, that nigga daddy Michael Jordan. Shut up. It's, it's, it's pretty much like, quit asking me questions. Yeah. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Yeah, you. Where are you getting all these Yeezys from? Oh, that's my uncle. That's, that, 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 that's how I'm getting all these Yeezys. And then, it, and then the goat himself said it. If y'all watched the video, this was the motherfucking St. Pablo tour out there in San Jose. It was me and my young boy, David Tan, one of the young kids I mentor at the shop. We had went there and we was in the pit and I had threw my blinks up at him. I was like, fuck it. I had I asked everybody in the crowd, you got a pin? And see, one thing as a music artist, you always got to carry a, 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 a Sharpie with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing my DJ told me. And for some reason, that's the only night I forgot to carry a Sharpie with me. Damn. I'm asking all, everybody around me in the pit, you got a pen? No. 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 And it's this girl. She look at me and say no. Then she say, oh, hold up. Go inside her purse. A brand new motherfucking Sharpie. <laughs> I'm talking about like brand that. new out the package. That's like oh, yeah. that. Destiny. Destiny. Right. Destiny. Right. Destiny. <laughs> Destiny. It was Destiny. Destiny. I took it, took it from her. I put the um put the little clip on my shoelace. As soon as that floating uh stage came back, I threw it up at him and he said, Hey, he threw something at me. And I guess that somebody must have ticked him off to the hashtag Kanye's nephew. He had told the crowd, he just want me to sign his shoe. And when he threw it back, he said, Security. Pass this to my nephew. And that's when I said, oh, shit, we out of here, bro. <laughs> and, that's, and, that's, and that's when I had left the motherfucking concert. And that's right before, like, literally right before he just went on one about the political Donald Trump type shit. And that's when he just went on, a, like, a, a political rant Word. that I had got up out of there. And that's why I'm Kanye's nephew. And they Joel's. Look, look, listen, y'all. Let him know. Blood will make you related. But loyalty ain't make you family. I'm loyal. I'm a student. It's, I, why does it be a, like? Why is it so offensive to people? Do y'all know he did not make a song about my big brother was Big's brother? That's Hove. Right. He, he, like, right, like right. this is from his own mouth now. He called me his nephew. So guess what? Y'all got to deal with that for the rest of y'all life. Straight up. Forever. Forever, ever, forever. <laughs> that's the story though destiny and like i said sneaker con motherfucking july 23rd i'm about to show y'all some shit a one-on-one okay that only kanye could have and there it is. There it is. only him could have Make sure y'all stay tuned. kangaroo stay fur tuned. that's it stay tuned. that's hey, it uh, sneaker con la gonna be two days right two days 23rd and 22nd yeah we there what a table giving back to the people because I love y'all. Shout out to Los Angeles. Yeah. Y'all treat me like one of y'all. I love y'all for that. I seen you. I seen you in LA at the uh, Supreme Line and everything. Bruh, Just it's more it, marketing promotion. It's so cold now, Grinch, that the motherfucking <laughs> managers know who I am now. The security <laughs> fuck with me. See, if y'all ain't never been to a Supreme drop, it's real tough out there. Yo ass, if you're not in line, if you look, this is dude named D'Angelo. He the motherfucking manager that runs shit. Look like Gaio. I call him Gaio. Real, <laughs> real jujitsu motherfucker, bruh. Like he be filming. So it's like the night of Wednesday night. If you ain't on that film. 
your chair is getting folded up by a Samoan bodyguards <laughs> and thrown into the middle of the street on Fairfax. I'm not lying. All the security, if you talking back, shut the fuck up. They yank you out the line. I don't care how many hours, how many days you was in line. Right. But they fuck with me. Ben, what happened when we was out there? We got in line, and what did they do, Ben? So once we got in line, the dudes walked walk to us and then be like, how many you got? And we were like, yeah, we have two. And then he's like, yo, come come out here. And we just went straight through. Straight through. Yep, just like that. Thursday drop, straight through. Ain't no more waiting in line at Supreme yeah. Line. And those who fuck with Supreme, no Supreme, don't give a fuck who you is. Yeah. They going to sell out regardless. Yeah, so for sure. <laughs> Look, I'm not so even an so. L.A. resident, and niggas exactly. is treating me like like with so much. Shout out to Supreme. Supreme Shout times Paperboy Supreme. times Dream Team coming soon. Shout out to Corgi Shoe. You, you hear him? Yep. Hey, this is what I want to say. It's no different from... What was dude? Fuck the preem. Uh, uh, the, uh, the babe dude is yeah. no different from him. He promoted his brand, but he just did it kind of negative in a negative way. Right. But he was seen everywhere. Now everywhere. you doing it, right. but you're doing it more in a positive way. Marketing <laughs> and everything. That's crazy. So. He had DM me too. <laughs> 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 well, he had left a message when I was handing out uh, burgers or something like that. He had hashtag fuck Supreme. I was like, man, I got the coldest shirt for niggas. Niggas got to let me design a shirt for him. I want to do that motherfucker getting knocked out. I think he has some Supreme draws on. Yeah. So they got to make sure they see the Supreme draws and just put them on a box, uh, put them on a picture tee. You for sure I always see you uh, Grab people in the line food Like that's one thing you always Okay now around. now I'm going to tell you why I do that This was Quote me if I'm wrong 2003, 2004 when the Nike SB Hemp's came out around 420 The mahogany, the blue ones and the uh, green ones The 420 ones yeah, yeah. Mm. So me and my buddies camped out at Huff At 808 Sutter, the first flag should be had And we had camped out um, and then the next morning, Huff brought everybody breakfast, donuts, and orange juice. Well, he only bought me some orange juice. That's how I know we had a relationship that was, it was solid, right. smooth, right. Right. Watch that right. smooth. Watch that damn. <laughs> Swear to God, right. I had me a jelly donut. My boy had a glazed donut. And from that day on, I said, if I ever, ever have my own shop, ever in the line again, I'm only like 16 years old, but this shit played 12 years later. You know what I'm saying? To them 30, to always feed the line. Just feed the people. Just just give to the people. Just another way of and, just and, leaving and your print. That's yeah, it. Word, word. Doing yeah. something remarkable where motherfuckers ain't gonna forget you. No, you know what I respect when you pull out with the uh when you pull up with the uh the granny basket. Ooh, the Ooh. legendary <laughs> shopping cart. <laughs> Ooh. Ain't nobody gonna forget that. Uh, ain't no, nobody gonna forget that. That Hell day no. I made sure I looked so bummy, I didn't wash my ass, I didn't brush my teeth, my <laughs> finger waves was crusty, I left my ashy lips because I wanted the people to understand, bro. It, it, this shit don't mean nothing to me, bro. So I'm outside when I hit up uh, Nice Kicks. I had some New Balances on. I had the Terminator jacket. This one the Belugas dropped. Yep. Came through with some holy ass jeans and just promoted my myself. Gave niggas flyers and stickers. And was it the Belugas? Yeah, because I, yeah. I had one that day. One that day and sold them for retail to somebody outside the shop. Because that shit don't mean nothing to me, bro. I'm for the people. And, and, and like I said... If y'all know who Paperboy is now, y'all gonna learn today. Right, learn today. <laughs> it's, it's not being arrogant. I'm nah. telling y'all right now. If you got a brand, you need to give back to the people. You, you got to. You need to be to, seen to, everywhere. Yeah. Think about it, Grinch. If you got a bakery and you trying to promote your lemon, your lemon pies... You got to first let niggas taste your pies first exactly. before niggas spend 30 bucks on your pie. Exactly. This is just like Costco. If you have, I see, I'm black. I, I, I don't know too many people, too many black families that got Costco cards. So I've been there with my Filipinos and Asian partners. Yeah. But in Costco, they got these aisles where you can sample everything, the product. Everything. You know what I'm saying? This is everything. like, you got to give people, you got to give them before you get from them. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know about that too, like streetwear. You can't just come out with three shirts and think you're going to blow up. You got to get that uh, shit dude, away wait. to the right people. Yeah. Give me that shirt right there. Just, just, yep. Right. Give your shit away to the right people. Let the right people. What's this say right things. there, bro? What is Not that? for sale. Not promo for sale. Only. Promo, promo only. only. I didn't even see that. You can't even, you can't buy this from me. Yeah, Everybody want to buy this. You can't buy this. And this shit go in the dark too. Promo <laughs> only. Promo only. I, I, I got a, I had a thousand of these. 
Now I got a, I, I, I got Pull a that thou- up. Show the people what, you, what up, you're talking yeah. about. That's me, and that's the that's my brand right there. For, not for sale. Not for sale. Not Promo for sale. only. Promo only. Promo only. I got a thousand more Red Octobers that I'm about to flood the line with at SneakerCon. Look, bro. It's, 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 it's simple mathematics, bro. I'd rather spend 2000 on promotional T-shirts to get 10000 in the long run. Right. Any day. Right. It's an investment. You ain't losing nothing. Right. You're gaining just because you give something away don't necessarily mean that you're losing. See, my grandma told me this. She, 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 my next door neighbor at my shop. She been, she, <laughs> she been in business for fifty years at the at her beauty salon. Shout out to my grandma. You know, What's she, up, grandma? see, my grandma. I asked her first day of business, grandma, how can I be successful as you? You've been around for fifty years, still getting money. My grandma's seventy eight years old. She still do my hair. She fully <laughs> functional. Yeah. But her. I asked her how can I be successful, successful like you, grandma, granny. She said, Donald, people, when people come into your store, they're not buying product from you. They're buying your friendship, yeah, your yeah. relationship. Right. This is just a token. Right. That's it. The, the, the physical product is the token. And this is why I'm, I'm, I'm able to still run after five years. See, average brand new business only is up for, I think, like seven months to a year. And it's shut down. Four when months. I, four go four months. I'm a, so it's, new, it's, it's new statistics there. Sure, but I'm going lower because they don't know what they're doing. See? <laughs> See? And, 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 and by the grace of the people, it's like. My store is built on nothing but straight love. That's why I can't never fire shots at nobody. I can't never talk down on nobody because it's, it's the people look. that keep yeah, my yeah, glass right. door swinging back and forth. I'm talking about people coming in here giving me hugs. Straight love. Almost like real life Michael Jackson fans. Like when they see me, they want to start crying. <laughs> like, bruh, I got fans in Hong Kong. I got a photo that... uh a young boy from Hong Kong saw me. I was out there hunting me down and gave me his photo. I showed you that on Instagram. Yeah, I think I me that. eating, I think I me that. eating out the um, out the white three fifties. But this is the people. My 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 story is still being generated and run because the people are able and they they're letting me do this. And that's a message for all you new brands. Yes. Don't just come out with two three printed shirts and think you're gonna win. No. If you're going to do that, you got to at least give it to somebody that can be seen in it. And that's yeah. promotion. Promo. That's yeah. that's better than paying somebody $500, $600 to promote your shit. All Hell day. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's Think for bigger. real, though. That's for real. All you do, brands, take notes. Jewels. And if y'all need any help of where I'm headed, just come DM me. I'm, here, bro, I'm telling you, I got the best graphic designer in the universe right next to me on my left. He will help you. He raw. He could cook up anything in a matter of seconds. I'm telling y'all, mark my words right now. He gonna be designing some shit for Nike soon. For That's real. his whole goal. He is a sneaker innovator. Ben, was you doing? Were you doing graphics before you came here? Yeah, um, actually, I'm. A, Time have, out. What is sneaker? Um, what is Tinker Hatfield's real title? What is he? He's an architecture. And what are you yeah. doing? Architecture student. Okay, that's all I gotta say. Yeah. So. I was um like, so obsessed. Right, right. <laughs> right. 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 I don't even know. Yeah. I was so obsessed with art since I was so young. Got influenced uh, influences by um, my sister actually because yeah. she really into art too. And I mean, every now and then, if I have free time, even if I'm bored with the class, I'll just like grab a pen and draw something. Doodle. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, you just like. Automatically draw something, right? And it's just like I would say art is more important, uh, more important than shoes to me. I was just going to yeah. ask you. Yeah, so. and I feel like I got here to this point not not because of anything but art, True. Right? right? So it's taken me a long way. And Without when it ain't ain't no paperboy graphic, I tell you that right now. Yeah. So Ben, you 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 did that? Yeah. I did okay. everything right. to be honest, mm-hmm. and um, it's like don't be humble. Let them I know. feel right. I feel <laughs> like um, the first uh, first time I got introduced to like street wears and sneakers, I was so surprised because like one of my be- uh, one one of my close buddy in Thailand, like he is like he fucked with me tough. Like he always show me all the shoes and shit. I got my first Jordan because of him. He forced me to buy it. 
Word. which mm-hmm. is the Jordan 3 Black Cement when they come out in 2011. Yeah, okay. double pack, right? So, no, yeah. not the pack. It's just like the standalone. So that's the first Jordan I got, to be honest, from, from like the store, right? And I found out that the designer is Tinker Hatfield. And it, when, they, when they saw the, um, the story about the Air Max one, the OG Air Max one, yeah. mm-hmm. that he took the inspiration from the building and turned it into the shoes, I yeah. see like how can how he can use like articulate the the big scale design the architecture and, from a building yeah, and, to and a shoe just like yeah reduce it to the shoes and that's that's kind of amazing you know what i mean to me yeah. for sure. right, right, for yeah, so yeah, have you been sure. doing that like like with your drawings like, like yeah, taking some, inspirations from other stuff sometimes that you expect? yeah I just like mash everything up um i'm not specialized in like product design to be honest like i've been doing about like 3D design and shit in Thailand mm-hmm. okay. and I was doing toys and things also like making a physical toys as a project in my in my university back yeah. then that's what's up and that just got me to understand like how to craft thing and how to look at thing in like all dimension you know right, right. so once I got here and meet Pape and we just like start doing things it's just like we are trying to open more doors for the store, for the for the brand, yeah. as like we try to express our area. um right, like right, our um interest. Mm-hmm. And I'm about to pass my uh, black book. I was telling you all about it around. Um, this is just a couple of sketches that he did, just freehand. Yep. That, that's no no pencil. I follow I follow Ben on Instagram, yeah. so I know no he pencil is or pen. Talented. Let everybody know right now too. What's your Instagram What's your so Instagram? they don't forget? Okay, so That's my ins- my Instagram is DNA Disc D N A D I S E. I do research on everything. I understand like people people might not know, but it's a big culture in Asia. No, yeah, it, right. it, it like, is. Like, I like can vouch for that. Yeah, I, sure. I can vouch for that. I was just out there last month, and and I can tell you something because of like let's say back in um like two thousand like let's say about like early 2000 okay. to like middle 2000 like at that point nike produced shoes in thailand yeah right, right? and then moved to indonesia mm-hmm. after that and the thing is all the sample is in my country Damn it. right <laughs> so let's say let's say what i have right now is like blazer supreme, blazer right. supreme. and the sample size nine the red ones right yeah. and then there's a lot of sample that i come across like atmos back then right. and then like football pack a lot, a lot of Air Maxes like I used to own is like sample because like it's so big up. It, the scene is so big and people just like there's more amount of people like let's say about like two, three hundred people that really know about sneakers, right. and those people can obtain these shoes because they know people in the factory, right? right. So those shoes, after a while, they they came here. Yeah. Damn, they just came here by like people from the state go there and buy it. You know, back, yeah. but We're then connected the th- because it's shit that that only drop in Asia. Yeah, where we in the states got to contact somebody we know out there, yep. Yep. and let's it's the same way like shit that only drop in the states. Let's we gotta see, c- let's say the shoe that just dropped the up tempo, the the Asia hoop pack. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Those white are, and pan leather red. Yeah, the the white, red, and black. Yeah, yeah that yeah. one is like super hard to get. Right. I mean, I'm not talking about just people in the state. It's super hard to get. It's just like even people in Asia, like like me and my friend. Like if you want to get that shoes, it's super hard. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like so it's like comparing like my life right there and here. This is like really simple, like, like flick your finger. It. Yeah, I got, <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the thing too is uh small sizes. Yeah. Asia loves small size because the females want to be just like mm-hmm. the dudes. Yep. Mm-hmm. So the females will bred you out yeah. most most of the time more. Yeah. Because yep. they yeah. want them small sizes so they can just be they could be lit. They, they, they're <laughs> gonna burn our pocket to like dust. <laughs> burn that pocket to dust, man. For real. Yeah. But um, being able to connect worldwide, you know, I'm not sure you you knew kids, but I I grew up on a Nike Talk era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Nike Talk was really big. Yeah, around uh, maybe, um, like I said, another co-owner of Dream Team, which is Han. One of my best friends, he gave me my first computer with internet, and, and and it's just like thanks to him, I was able to jump on the internet and had an instant message before Sidekick Twos and Threes dropped. <laughs> but I was able to surf the web on Nike Talk. I never had no name because the administrator was playing too goddamn much, <laughs> so I just used his login. But you know, around like 2001, 2002, that's when they got put on like with all the Supreme shit, and you know, 
Nike Talk was like our Instagram. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying for sneakerheads. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm trying to yeah. bring back uh, the message boards and all this. Shit. Yeah, but it, it's so hard now though, Grinch, because these kids are so stubborn and just like yeah. they don't want to read, bro. Like all so that shit consists of a lot of reading, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas don't want to read no they more. To uh, visuals, YouTube. That's okay. it. They want yeah. you to talk to them. Yeah, yeah. ten seconds. Yeah, Since we're like talking about Supreme, let's just get off topic real quick. What do you think about the Supreme of Tempos? Um. It, it's a cool shoe, you know, it's supreme, you know, the top tier hottest brand out right now, period, streetwear. But it's just like Nike, I think it was a wrong time to drop it. They should have saved it for a different a different shop because Up Temples just came out last year and it's just like the market just gets so saturated. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a ooh, ah, as if they would have dropped it maybe two years down the line. It, it's just not, it's not no big bang like when they drop that uh, triple pack five. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you can't drop like an exclusive pack when 10 colorways already dropped. It's just yeah. almost like a GR. But I feel like Nike you. do that because they already got up tempos on the line. So it's easy to just sneak a Supreme pair in there because they already building those pairs at the shops. I mean, at the factories and everything. So it's easy for them. Like Nike, I feel like every year they got one shoe that they'll just try to do the most with. Right. Every yeah. time. And, and and I guess last time was the fives, right? Yeah. Yeah. We still kind of own the fives. Yeah. Price is going up in them, too. Yeah. Price is going Premium up. Premium joints but and everything. <clears throat> I, I like the Gold Supremes up temples. Um, I got them on, on ice, ready to break them out during the summertime. Um, but... See, I know you, OG, because OG niggas, they keep on ice to nobody right, else right, rocking right, them. Right, right. I already know. <laughs> I'm an OG. <laughs> I'm, I'm a young OG. Shout yeah. out to Loso. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's how we do. We keep it on ice to nobody got them. They already play soccer in their pair and all yeah, types right. of shit. Hold them bitches up. <laughs> and then we pull our shit out. What you yep, think about the new uh, Curry, Curry Ford? Oh, I love him. Ooh. <laughs> them motherfuckers are saucy. They remind me of a real ninja. Let me get swaggy on these niggas for ass- assassinate some shit. It's my me. It's might be my first curry to be honest. Yeah. Like, okay, they're yeah, nice. And been on play hoops. Yep, I don't even play hoops. Yeah, but I, I I gravitated to that when I first saw that Saiten. It's a real nice structured shoe, it's real sure. sleek, no, yeah, sure, real just sure. real smooth. For sure but it's be gonna be to hard go to, to the, wear because uh, it's kind of like a Harachi. Yeah, Harachi yeah. style is kind of like. That skinny, skinny jean. Only, only short. Yeah. yeah. Joggers. Only short, you can yeah. really. Man. Joggers, short. Yeah. What about the uh, KD10? Ugly. I ain't <laughs> felt the KD since the KD4s dropped. Man. The best KD was the 4s around like that Galaxy pack and everything else. Been phony. Yeah, been phony. It's yeah. just like, I never knew like it was cool to have like low top hoop shoes. Those who play hoops know like ankles get weak. So it's right. like, why not build a high top around it? But um, I, I I just think Nike just needs to slow down and just like let the people do something for y'all. Like let us help because right, y'all just real. be putting anything yeah. out and expect out to sell Nike, and shit be Nike, going to outlet like that. And y'all they don't, don't want to listen. Nuh-uh. They don't. They don't. Uh, they arrogant. I think yeah, I think Nike kind of start do something with what people are actually asking for yeah. but not in terms of like Nike sportwears they're doing actually in Nike lab right yeah. true if you guys can see like the um, let's say one of the interesting project that I saw recently is actually with Arthur Huang that he do um, the Air Max 1 fly knit them know right? who Arthur Huang is so he's an architecture and he have a company that doing a recycle like material right. and mm-hmm. make a furniture right? right and then he actually designed a box to turn into be um a backpack and actually it's like it's kind of like modular um idea that can like stack it up yeah. and turn into be like interiors and things like decoration you know okay. and what he's shown in his design and his project with nike lab is like the innovation that people need to think about it's not just about shoes anymore it's about like what Packaging. you're gonna use it mm-hmm. yeah, with yeah. your life the thing i, I want to say to to the people out there is i appreciate y'all here at dream team sf and um, I just want to touch a, a, a point. Like, at the end of the day, people, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be the best role model in this generation for the generation. Like, this generation don't have nobody to look up to. Like, I know when I was coming up, we had Scruff McGruff. We had Captain Planet. Uh, we had the G.I. Joe, Planet. like, motherfuckers that, you know, told you secret things at the end of the um, 
every little Shout every little episode. Smokey the Bear, everything. I'm just talking about even even big names. So it's just like, even when they shoot me with so much hate on like the internet, I don't pay no attention to that type shit. Like, my skin's so thick, my shield so ill. It's like it's gonna be. You gonna need what Donald Trump just just dropped to get through my my armor. The mother of all bombs. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's tough. Like like. But I'm for the people. Like I'm a real life role model, and that's why I try to set the best example for them, y'all. Yeah, the yeah, people don't understand that. People see you eating cereal Six. out of shoes, but they don't know the right. the background. And that's that's how I know you because I I met you probably like at a dunk exchange or whatever. Right. And we always been cool. But people that don't know you, they know you from eating cereal, yeah. but they don't yeah, know exactly. They don't right. know about the big pot of gumbo. See, <laughs> I'm a real funny dude, bro. Like. Like, bro, like, I, I, I like to joke a lot, bro. Like, I just fuck around. But that 60 seconds then changed my life forever, bro. Like, but it re- my mic. It really helped me, like, so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, it opened so much doors to a nigga. Like, me going viral with the call. See, I always been doing this shit. Like, it started with the with the bread Yeezys. I had the eggs over Yeezy. You know what I'm saying? I had my mom's. <laughs> see, y'all didn't see that. I had my mom's come with a, 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 a motherfucker, a fresh egg Yeezy over the Yeezys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then it's just like the cereal shit came and it just, shit just blasted. And so that's like my signature. So now, when I was when, when I was also in China, I nigga got my own cereal bowl. So now it's time to capitalize on some shit. Oh, yeah, I got my yeah, own yeah. cereal coming out. Wow. I got my I got my own cereal spoons. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, why not? Like the 60 seconds right. and change my life forever. Bring the, bring the cereal spoons Bre- back. Yeah, a lot for of sure. Don't know about them. Yeah. Come yeah. on, yeah. bro. It's like yeah. this generation is you, dry, you, you bro. Don't know yeah. about them cereal. It's, it's dry, yeah. bro. You, yeah. you pour the pour the cold water, it change a different yeah. color, yeah. bro. The hot water. Yeah. Come yeah. on, bro. Yo, shout out to Funk Master Flex, bro, because that nigga reposted my shit. When I get my Paperboy Crunch, I'm sending you a brown box full of boxes, Funk Flex. But I wasn't feeling what you said about Pac. But yeah, I'm gonna let the people get on you about that. <laughs> but but look, Flex, you good in my Books, bro. You didn't post it, in, nigga. I'll fuck with you, Flex. Hey, so uh, how you feel about uh, Lonzo Ball shoes? You know, it's, it's being just <laughs> from out of left field, right. bro. Bro, a, he's a goofball, but you know, all, wait, who, that, who? Let's 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 get it clear. Who? Who's, the dad who's the or group? the kids? The dad. The dad. Uh, yeah. The dad just need to be a dad. See, not, see, see. Everybody want to be a star, bro. Right, yeah. Let your kids ball out. See, right. but he has a great marketing scheme because guess what? Even that bad publicity got him being barked about, though. Guaranteed. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah, People it looked like a Kobe just mixture. Cause, just because the bad. I yeah. knew it was real when I watched did, the sneaker shopping. Did y'all see the oh. shit today? Yeah, the sneaker shopping. Oh, yeah, he I was cat sneaker uh, shopping. He was, he was working out for the Lakers <laughs> in Harden's. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, I see. Those are Adidas. Out. Yeah, right. those are Adidas. Oh, but he has no contract, so he could do anything right now. Yeah. Yep. But for the sneaker shopping, Levar was in there, cat. The cat. Whole yeah, episode, I, I feel like, cat after off. I watched the sneaker shopping, I got a different view of the dad. Nah, oh, he was because we was always shit. arguing was, about like, is the dad doing it for him or the kids? Yeah. In the in the sneaker shopping, he was like, he was trying to take their shine. Bro, like, he was just sitting there like oh, he was all shit, dancing. Yeah. And he was taking some shit, but then he was explaining. He like, want a reality. He want a reality why show. He, oh, he, he gonna get it. Like he want a reality why show. But like show. he said though, bad publicity is still good publicity. Yeah. For surely. Look, as long I'm not as people sure talking about the publicity stuff that I did, but it's like, bro, a nigga went viral. I went viral twice, not saying anything off of eating cereal, twice in three weeks. Yeah. And, and like I said, why not? Why not? This is what real sneakerheads do, bro. I could, bro. I I have all the shoes that I wanted, bro. It's like back to what I was saying, bro. This shit is it, it mean nothing to me, bro. Like I could wear Air Jesuses for the next ten years, bro. Right. <laughs> Straight sandals, bro. Like the I shrug my the shoulder. The youngsters too, the new generation. Y'all got to catch up with that. It's still no matter what, no matter how much the resale value is, no matter what, it's still just shoes. Y'all don't even appreciate it's shit. Right. It's it, still it, shoes. Y'all don't bro. even clean y'all shoes with toothbrushes no more, bro. <laughs> or that or that bar of soap. Right. Y'all yeah. fuck with Jason Mark. Shout out to Jason Mark. I actually met the dude. He actually just celebrated three years when I was out there in LA. Yeah, but bro, what Jason happened to tucking the laces in and scrubbing yeah. them circles, yeah. man? Taking Paint your time. Paid him full. Call you a poop buck, man. In the Cortez poop and uh, clean them things one Come time, on, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so if you bring in anything back from old sneaker game, what is it? 
Oof. One thing to bring back from the old sneaker game is um, we don't have any more sneaker magazines. Yeah. I was in a few Soul Collectors. Um, I, I was I was in two. This is when they had that crazy ass orange and black Air Force One on the front, oh, okay. and this yeah, they had yeah, the Carmelo yeah, yeah. two point fives. Yeah. They had me in um, this when Nike Town had the party. I was in the front line with the uh, orange Supreme highs on Dunks, and uh, that was a. It, it was just also like the parties and shit too, bro. Like the sneaker like. The parties and yeah. shit. I feel it's like just, I feel like they forget about us. We, they get all that shit in L.A. Yo, we oh, don't get it it's live out there in L.A. L.A. They just had a uh, Nike Cortez event. Yep, yep. because we don't get shit out. Uh, yeah, I heard Nike is really pushing a hard line on the Cortez this whole year. That's why the guy, what's the guy named at around two? Sean, 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 Sean at around two. Um, um, that's why they got like their own little collab with um the Cortez. They did a pop up shop a couple of days ago too. Yeah. We don't get shit in the Bay Area. Uh-uh. For real. Feel- I, I want to say, like, we don't know how to act when shit. When, you know, when <laughs> we shit, Because like you know the Bay Area. Finesse. We see the a big-ass ju- sneaker we box and don't know how to act. We move a little different. <laughs> the jug and finesse. I feel like um, the difference is, like, let's say even right now we still have a sneaker freaker, right? Yeah. For the magazine. But the thing yeah. is, like, let's say um, Sneaker News have a magazine, Complex have a magazine, and Sneaker Freaker have a magazine. But the thing is, all of, all of the thing that they do is just like interview on um like famous people, right? Or like take a scoop on like a big shop and things. But the thing that happened in Soul Collector, I'm not I'm not like old school sneakerhead or anything. I just started like six years, seven years. But the thing is, like when they saw the magazine, like they talk about people in the street, in the street, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Talking about like what happened <coughs> in the city and show like the scene that what people react or interact they did, with the they thing. didn't have a following yeah. at first yeah but once they got their following it's more it's more of selling of, things of yeah, yeah selling things so they want to get the biggest <coughs> names and everything but they don't go back to where they started the yeah roots. and the that's roots. what real people want to hear yeah we want to know like the streets we want to know yeah. what's going on in the streets, streets we don't yeah. want to know what's going on in beverly hills yeah right. yeah you know so um yeah, sure, earlier sure. this week three nike reps came to my shop um I don't know why, <laughs> um, but three <laughs> Nike reps came to my shop to come check me out. So um, we had to be making some type of noise. But um, one of the guys, they didn't let us take a picture of their sneakers because he had a pair of um, never before and seen Nike Vapors on. And that was like a look just like this green. That was like like real dark, dark olive green and black. Mm-hmm. And them motherfuckers looked sick. I'm really, um, I really like like army olive. Like I'm, I like that color. <clears throat> you're, preaching yeah. to, you're preaching to him right that now. Olive. Yeah, <laughs> that olive is right ill. Green. I'm, I'm it's kind of like a green. yeah. It's like a almost an everyday color. You know, it could go with almost anything. That all purpose. Yeah, that I think purpose. I think army fatigue can go with almost anything. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah. yeah, I love it. But um, it was crazy that those Nike reps came to my shop. So wait, what they come for? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, like up? I said, me and Ben are working on some ill shit that really can't be discussed. <laughs> Top <laughs> secret, they eyes. Man, Top secret. shout out to Nike. <laughs> Top secret. You know, um, I've been feeling um, I've been um, Nike being like coming down to the streets a lot. You know, and just like zeroing in and having their ears to the street, and I appreciate them for that. Yeah. Cause it's time to give like these um, I guess you call me a mom and pop shop, but I'm like the mom and pop son. <laughs> so um, I just feel like it's good because sometimes like it's hard to become a big brand like Supreme like yeah they're so big and shit but it's like let some little niggas have some fun too bro right. we know how to tear some shit up too so you think they're actually trying to put their ear to the streets again hell yeah I think I think they are they moving slow but I think they are okay people think that like Nike I guess Nike's in competition with Adidas but competition with everybody yeah, yeah. everybody but those are like the two biggest brands as of right now but Nike when they ever when they first came out they never been in the red like as soon as they dropped their first shit they always been in the green Nike has never been down like yeah. never been down in sales never so it's like probably this can't nobody fuck thing. with Nike at the end of the day, Nike always gonna rank supreme. Those who don't know what that Nike check mean, that shit mean victory. Yeah, for real. <laughs> that shit mean victory. Can't nobody fuck with Nike. Nobody uh, can fuck with Nike. Nike will always Y'all be king. Always. Fuck always. Fuck always. <laughs> Y'all can't fuck with the police. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Nike, Nike always gonna be. How many Yeezys drop on Adidas? Them, them, that pack, them, them, that pack always gonna rank supreme. 
Mm-hmm. Period. I mean, just look at the resale value. What what Jordan you know has resale value like that besides the motherfucking uh, undefeated four? Collab boy, gotta be a collab. Be or a collab. the or the M and M's, but those yeah. are like. Yeah, 50 pair, 75 pair. I'm talking Ever. about <laughs> like, right. these shits go for brand new 35 or better. Yeah. These red joints go for five bands or better. Brand new. What other sneakers doing that? No sneakers. Come on, yeah. bro. And that's a Nike. No. Come on, bro. One one pair of Nike Yeezys a uh, 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 outsell your whole Yeezy Boost collection. Easy. Come on, bro. It's crazy. Easily. It's crazy. And they need to take notes because like you said, that one Nike Yeezy. Oh man. They need to they need to start incorporating other people that you know that got the streets vote. Yeah. Oh, yeah for because sure. they, they, the they bullshitting right sure. now. Man, not because the man's my uncle. I honestly say that this is the most comfortable shoe I ever owned. The ones and twos. Those who don't have a pair or haven't felt a pair, you can't relate when I say this. Mm-hmm. See, what makes me so angry is when people be like, I need the Yeezy because it's like the most comfortable shoe. But then I ask a nigga like this, but that's the same boost material that's on those concepts or on those ultra boosts. So how could that be different from a Yeezy boost? Right. And they be like, uh, it's just like the That's pattern inside the, the Yeezy 2 has like a memory foam, like that satin outline that both the Yeezy 1 and 2 has. It's just like the cushion. It's like real luxury. Mm-hmm. You got to own a pair to understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? This was, um, the, the Yeezy 2 is a what? It's like, um, uh, Leather a, and soul. No, but it's on a box. It says something, something like energy. Yeah, something. I Easy. forgot, but Easy. it's just it's just a real luxurious shoe. Mm-hmm. So you feel that that people buy Yeezy Boost because it's Yeezy? Of course, it's the hype. It's yeah, the new wave. Yeah, yeah. Here, it's, it's a hype behind it. Yeah, hype. I think I think my own opinion about like Yeezy Boost. Is like people who want to support Kanye, but they can't afford Nike Air Yeezy. No, right. true story. A motherfucker came to my shop yesterday. I'm talking about this Asian dude. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. He got dough. He don't know shit about sneakers. <laughs> Swear to God, he drive a GT3 RS Porsche. That's a hundred fifty thousand dollar car. He don't know shit. He came in with some old ass, dusted ass Tiger A6 on. Don't know shit. I sold him a pair of Yeezy Boost eight and a half, and he said, "Man." He didn't even know what the fuck they were. He just said, everybody got these, huh? I'm like, yeah, bro, you're going to get a lot of, like, strange looks when you put these on. And he just bought them just because, like, the hype. Right. Yeah. So, 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 it's just crazy, you know? It's just, it, it, it's not a comfortable shoe, if you ask me. I think motherfuckers just be trying to sell a story, bro. Yeah. It's, <laughs> e- it's easy. It's just, it's just the, like, the trophy. That's it. It's a trophy. I th- I it's because it you got like that. The people that buy, like, that bought, like, the Nike Yeezys. It's still trying to run with that nostalgia, like it's like I've been Yeezy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I've, I've been, been doing. Yeezy. I've been doing. I'm this college shit. dropout Yeezy. Yeah, still. you know what I mean. Like, you know what I mean? like I've been a Kanye fan, my nigga. Like, don't play me like you just some newcomer, nigga. Like yeah. I've been doing. I think it's and just. Say, and then they fuck around and say Beluga wrong. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Beluga. I feel like Beluga. I got the Belugas. <laughs> I mean, when you break it down, can you honestly say that, that this is a sneaker? Like, like what makes a sneaker a sneaker? Like, is there any really Innovative design in this shoe right here. You know where I would have saw them at? That would have been. <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah. Look, real Ser- shit. Ser- seriously. Look, Tell me, what's so creative about this? Looking at the motherfuckers, that would have been like when you in at, at Walmart or something, and you see the shoe section, and then you got the shoes for the swimming shoes. I was about to yeah. say, they look they like, like this. That's like the water that. sock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah water water I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to camp. You feel me? I don't want to get no fucking no warts on my feet. You know what I mean? Motherfucking lake. You know what I mean? You feel me? I got them at, I got them at the line, outlet. If those yeah, wasn't Yeezys, people wouldn't be wearing them. I don't, I don't care what nobody I say. This is the most comfortable shoe or whatever. If they wasn't Yeezys, you wouldn't give a fuck right, about it. Right. If they was James Harden's, I don't want those. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I think I think have to uh, Adidas have to thank to uh, have to uh, give a big shout out to Kanye. Like, you got to. So you went you went to the last sneaker con. Oh, we had a lit. Matter of fact, I think they was like way mad at me. Um, <laughs> true story because it was like these YouTubers, like YouTube stars. I didn't know who they was. I was just being done, giving away free shit. We must have had our section rocking for like 15 minutes while they was on stage talking. And all of a sudden you hear this big ass crowd chatting. I had the crowd saying, in paper, we trust. In paper, we trust. 
shirts. Mm-hmm. And I, I gave out like maybe like 75 shirts that day. And I was making everybody take their shirt off, shirt off and throw this one on. So I was like, it was like all the attention flown Shifted. towards us. Yeah. And I was like, that nigga over there hating on us. I'm like, nah, bro, this is, this is just me. Right. Giving back to the people. That's what the you sne- do. You, you would do the, that at any event. You think right. the sneaker tubers are sensitive? How do you feel about that community of the sneaker tubers? Them guys are not organic. I I I know personal stories that I ain't gonna say too much about. But um, <laughs> you know, fame plays a big factor. Yeah, you know, yeah, when you exactly. start getting a couple pennies, you're just starting to stack, and you get a little bit of extra highs, and let me get a few pictures. That shit play with a nigga ego. That pump a nigga shit up heavy. See, I always been like not a famous nigga, but I always been a well known like city nigga. So, and I always had a little bit of extra cheese because I always hustled and shit. So this shit don't mean nothing to me, bro. Like I'm I'm where I'm at because this is me all day, yeah. twenty twenty five eight. You feel me? This is this is me every day. Just a cool, funny nigga. Yeah, you know I'm I, saying. I so I feel you like that. It's like when when people got sneakers as they only hustle. Come on, that's what they that's what they 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 um they gravitate to. They they want everything to do with sneakers. But people in the Bay Area, we got more than one hustle. Right. That's Multiple. Why I went, that's why I respect when you say this shit don't mean nothing to me because right. it don't. It's not gonna pay you as much as uh-uh. your other hustles. No, right, for sure. it's more of just using it as promotion. Yeah. But now these sneaker shoe tubers or whatever, yeah, that's shoe they tubers. Only, that's the only hustle. <clears throat> That's the only hustle is make sneaker videos, vlogs or whatever. And that's and cool. Yeah, that's not it's nothing wrong with that. Now that we on YouTube and I've been doing research about YouTube, I respect all of them because I know it's a lot of work to get these videos up yeah. every day. It, it is yeah. get this footage. But the content is dry. Yeah. Yes. Because it's not real. It's not organic. It's like not real. Yeah. It's almost an act. Matter of fact, um, I came into Soul Stage. And the Fong Brothers was there. Y'all ever heard of Fong Brothers? They're uh, really big on um, YouTube and shit. And I was wearing my Red Octobers, my Red Akis. And they wanted to talk to me about that shit. And we just had like a live freestyle feed. And it was just like, they hit me back the other day. And it was just thinking a nigga crazy. But this is just like the raw, non-scripted, because I'm a real sneakerhead. And I could just right. come off the top and give you history and give you research and just give you real pinpoint, you know, things about sneakers and shit. Right. Like, Shit be dry. Niggas be doing research and have to memorize type shit like when was this? Was this invented by who innovated this? Or was this? You, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just like, bro, you need that raw, uncut shit just like how we doing now. Like that non-scripted, like off the heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like That's it, why I'm glad you came through because I had to. For, for the viewers and the listeners, they only know, like I said earlier, they only know you eating cereal. cereal shoot, 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 but they yeah. don't know the Nike talk. And the knowledge that the you iceberg. got, and how long you've been in the game, so I, I really appreciate you. They don't know big pots of gumbo. Yeah, right. They don't, Bro, they they don't the, even know what we're talking about. Okay, now t- hey, look. Let, when I seen the video, come on. I was like, I was like, damn. I woke up hella late. <laughs> I'd have slid straight to that man to help that. I was like, God. So, because you you started early. Yeah, you had to. You had Gumbo to. take time. Yeah. It, that's a <laughs> marination and, and that's not, nation. Yeah, and yeah. it's not like he just like we gonna throw some packets. We gonna throw some rice. Nah, this real raw yeah. brew. You really that, did it, bro. That, like that scratch. You feel me? That like, grandma that recipe. recipe. I was gonna say grandma right. recipe yeah. on it. Right. The on pot. Them. Me and Grinch can have a a wrestling match in that pot. That's how big <laughs> that motherfucker was. <laughs> Man, we had so much shit in that motherfucker. We had shit for the next day. You know what I'm saying? I was given to go pots. Bring your own Tupperware. <laughs> Hell is shit. I'm, bro, I'm talking about real life crab. I had to really smoke myself. <laughs> Big jars of crab meat. Those who know what gumbo is, gumbo is just a famous. Is that like from New Orleans? Yeah. That's just a traditional New Orleans, more like black folks. Black folks Christmas and Thanksgiving Crab, thing, chicken, man. Yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. off the chain. It's yeah. a stew, soup, whatever you want to call it. It's just a wonderful dish. And the shit is just like, it's, it's, it's for special he dates. He went in there. He yes. went, he yeah. went in. He, he Most went people in. giving out, you know, sandwiches sandwich. or whatever. <laughs> he pulled up with I the gumbo it. pot. I'm on some New Jack City shit, man. I'm telling you, I'm putting on, bro. I need to embrace me. I fuck with the people heavy. And and and, and let, let's let, let the uh, listeners know. How much money did you make off uh, making that? It's free. Exactly. Love don't cost a thing. <laughs> you can't get no receipts with love because you ain't buying it. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. And it's gonna happen. It's it's a yearly thing now. 
I was about to say, I was about to say, what's the next big uh, holiday? I'm trying to think what you're going to do. Thanksgiving. Look, trying look, to see check it out. Leave. So back in the day when I was coming up, we had this barber that fucked up everybody's head named Mr. <laughs> Reno. When you was 8, 9, 10, 11 until you were like, had your own bread and went to that real professional cutter. His name was Mr. Reno, but he was a real community activist. Yeah. Every summer, he would tell your parents, he would give you a permission slip, he would take you to Raging Riders, Marine World, all the theme parks that whole summer, right. seven bucks for admission. He don't give you a bag lunch and like a pack of free tokens to go anywhere, wherever. I'm trying to re revamp that. I'm trying to get me a yellow school bus because it used to be two school buses and be like 200, like 200 of us, like all the kids from the neighborhood jump yeah. on that bus, smack out. I'm trying to do that again. Like I'm trying to see who got a charter bus for us. I'm trying to take all the neighborhood kids out there and just have a good time. That's what I was so, so I definitely, like yeah. And I was like, definitely through this episode, we've seen that at the end of the day, you influenced by your elders. Yeah. For sure. Like that's, yes. that's for sure what, what what molded, you feel me, into what, what you give out to the community now. Yeah. You got to. But for sure, for sure. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just a giving person, bro. I could die tomorrow and it's just like, what did Don do for us? I think it did a lot. Right. You know what I'm saying? My soul will live on. For sure, niggas gonna talk about that big pot of gumbo. For sure, forever, <laughs> right. legendary yeah, shit. For real. Just like whenever a nigga in San Francisco talk about a Yeezy, my name is getting brought right up after that. Yep. It's go, it goes hand to hand now. <laughs> hey, like I said, me and Ben appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Sorry we took so long to come up here, but man, my life is crazy. Nah, man. You came at the perfect like, time. You, you came. came right when you were supposed <laughs> you to come. Came. You came. You came. And yeah. you brought us some gifts, man. I'll let you go ahead and introduce what you, uh, or show us what you brought us. I know we got this paper T-shirt. Oh, yeah. These are just uh, little paper boy merchandises. You know what I'm saying? This is just, I gave y'all my own currency, so now y'all got to come see me. Okay. Um, I gave y'all a little sticker, too. Um, you actually the first person to come with gifts. Yeah. Oh, but we respect currency. I love y'all. The motherfucker don't have to come with nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I got my own currency. Come and shop. <laughs> <laughs> let people know. Let people know what that is. What that is. We can use that at uh, any dream team location. Any dream okay. team location. So you could pull up to the Taylor Street store, uh huh, and you could use that for the shoes that's under fifty dollars. That's that's dub right there. Yes, sir. And and, and you can get that for sure. So that means <laughs> this would show a hat or something in there. This would show a few pairs of socks. You, you yeah, yeah, damn yeah, right. Yeah. Or throw something on on top and get you some shoes. You yeah, damn right. Yeah, easily. So if you twenty dollars show. My own uh, currency. Got me. And I'm gonna just keep preaching this. If you're a brand and you're just starting off, you have to give back. You, you got to. Have to be to. everywhere. You, have to. you can't not. You have to show your face. You have to be everywhere. On Joel. this podcast, people don't see my face. I'm I'm on the side. But I also make it a point to be everywhere. I need to be at Agenda. Mm -hmm. I need to be at every dunk exchange I can make it to. No. I don't fuck with Sneaker Con, but I might pull up to the L.A. one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I might just pull up to the L.A. one. But you got to be everywhere. People notice that shit. Yeah, yeah, oh, I've sure. seen him, blah, blah, blah. I've seen him over here. I've seen him over here. He was doing this. Yep. And giving back, too. He, yep. Oh, he gave up. Uh, he gave out plates of gumbo. Mm. No. He gave out food <laughs> to the homeless. He gave out shoes to the homeless. People remember yeah. that shit. And it's 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 genuine respect. Yeah. And I ain't doing yeah. it for the likes. Like I don't give a fuck about no double tap. I do it for the love. For the love. Yeah. Like like for, for real. Love. Like this bro, like I said before this cyber optical lens, <laughs> I've been doing shit like this because I love my people. I want to see us rise together, bro. My grandma always told me the man who helped the next man up. He shall climb higher. Mm. I'm never pushing nobody down. Dope. The I'm man happy. who helps the next man up, him shall climb higher. Straight up. Listen to what I'm saying. This is gems before my time. Joel's. I just passed y'all down some shit that's worth a million bucks plus. For sure. Joel's. When I pull up to the shot, you're gonna you're gonna have to go next door and introduce me to Graham. Graham gonna give you Graham talk just as much as me. <laughs> <laughs> but Ain't she's no so professional, no right, it's right. crazy. I'm trying to really figure out how I can stop her from aging because I don't want her to go. That's how important, that's how much like she got so much game. Like I gotta record shit like Graham, how you doing today? And you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, bruh, it's like them OGs, bro. You gotta respect them while they're here right. and appreciate them. Yeah, yeah. like I like that brings it back to like what today's influencers are, mm. and then what our our age influencers were. Yeah. Right, like this no. shit, this this new age influencers are these YouTubers and everything, but they the same age as you. 
sometimes you got to reach into the older age so you Vault. can get that yeah. knowledge. <laughs> it's not inf- it's knowledge. Yeah. Like people yeah. people always like yeah. when you talk to your kids or whatever they your kids might not listen to you or whatever because they don't they don't understand. Uh uh-uh, uh you can't but buy you, knowledge. Yeah, but nah, you've been through know. it. That's why you're trying to explain this shit to your kids and they just they in some in one way or another they have to respect your age because yeah. you've been through it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Knowledge is key. Yeah, straight up. That shit's golden. <laughs> power. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Like, they really mean that. When they said that shit, that shit is real. Yeah, yeah, for real. It's real power, bro. I didn't understand what my parents was telling me back in the days. Like, I need to do this, do that, until I got older. Yep. Y'all need hey. to learn it before y'all get older. For real. You got you, it, you you, got you, it You'll now. get that extra boost. You for sure. That cheat not, sheet. Not, yeah, easy, sheet. not yeah. easy boost, but right. you get that extra <laughs> boost. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so real boost your life up. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, for, for real. real. Yeah. Boost your lifestyle, man. As always, we'd like to thank our guests for coming through. Yeah, thank oh, you. Oh, most definitely. definitely. Give, give them the dream boy. team. Yes, address sir. one more time. Tell them where to Yo, find you. Y'all can find me on Instagram at dreamteamsf. My Instagram is paper underscore boy. We on Google, ask Siri. You can Yelp us. Um, shit, you could. We um, we everywhere, bro. We uh, you could com, you could complex us, uh, hype beast us. You, we everywhere. Come anywhere in the city and just ask anybody. Dream team, they gonna point you in our direction. Straight up. We our doors are open all day, every day for y'all. I'm Eleven to seven. If y'all know me and y'all running late, I will keep my shit open for y'all. Um, this it just feels like, you know, it's just like it's. Come from the soul, it, bro, it's, it's a blessing. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying I'm, I'm 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 here to share it with y'all. I didn't gave my city something that everybody can enjoy. Like it broke my heart when Huff left San Francisco. Man, mine too, man. And man. I, I had never been to the OG Huff bro, store. I got my bread man. up and I had to open my own. Now I I, I gave y'all that Huff feeling back, bro. Man, Wait, man. I I seen a post. I seen a post. You said Huff coming back, and you gonna be involved. I sure am. I, <laughs> I sure am. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, like Huff is my guy. Yeah. Keep Huff Nagel. That's yeah, my yeah. guy. What up, Keith? <laughs> well, definitely for sure, man. Well, you already know. Always catch us on iTunes, SoundCloud. Right. Oh wait, we got to tell uh, Ben. Ben, where they can get you at? Oh yeah, Ben. Yeah, ben. Instagram. Ben. DNA disc, know. nice don't and loud, bro. Like I said, don't be DNA humble. disc, D N A D I S C. If y'all need some graphic work done, check him out. I swear to God, he, bro, he got that shit. I just, I just got Brody a motherfucker drawing pad, I and this motherfucker is working I magic. I'm talking that. about when, when McGrady was going on one magic. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about Fantasia with Mickey Mouse magic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about that shit, boy. Well, damn, yeah. fellas. Yeah, so what make sure y'all y'all one. y'all subscribe on oh, iTunes. Yeah, so. YouTubers, YouTubians, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> review on iTunes. Yeah. This All is that episode shit. 15. 15, 15. 15. And this is uh, Vince uh, Carter. I, 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 this Raptors. was organic. Yeah. Organic. This oh, is yeah. the organic. Oh, yeah. Episode. No list. We didn't need no shoes. No yeah. supplements. None of that. No, 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 no steroids. No nothing. No steroids. This grass fed niggas. <laughs> the show. Straight you know, up. you know, you know. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Oxes are vegetarians, bro. When they say strong like ox, that niggas eat all vegetables, bro. Grass fed nigga, bro. Straight Strongest up. animal on earth right now, the ox. <laughs> He'll tear some down. shit up. <laughs> Yo, and shout out to all the uh, sneaker uh, shops out here. I love y'all so much, and I uh, wish the best fortune to everybody. Shout out to all the up-and-coming brands, and once again, shout out to the Heat Hoarders. Bay Area got sold to Grinch. Everybody, Mint SF, I love y'all so much, man. Yes, sir. sir. Choco for 15. Mm, Come on. (laughs) Tap out. (laughs) R.I.P. Kimbo Slice. (laughs) Well, as always, people, we got that love. Peace. Peace. And and happiness. Soul. 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 Let your soul go. <laughs> <laughs>